Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Tarantula Dan here, and I'm going to be doing a huge update video to basically tell you everything that's been happening over the last couple of weeks. Um, as many of you know, I haven't been doing any videos recently because my camera broke, um, but I was actually lent one by my dad, so I'm able to get some videos done. Um, and obviously I was meant to do more in the week, but I've just been busy, so my, apologi my apologies for that. Um, yeah, plenty to talk about. I've had some new malts um, and just a few general updates and some other videos I want to try and get done today while I'm free. So, I want to start off with these guys which I've just got on my bed. Um, just make it a little bit easier and hopefully we'll save some time. Um, I wanted to say guys, if any of you would like a update on a particular spider in more detail or anything you would like to know, uh, please feel free to comment below. Uh, let me know what you you know what you want to see, and I will do it for you. So uh, okay then, let's make a start then, shall we? Um, the first one I'm gonna do a video about is my amazing Nandu Crematus. Um, many of you will know this spider. He is known as the Steef, and this is the one that lost uh, some legs a few years ago and you can see he's now a mature male so a spider that many told me I should have killed has completed his, his life cycle and he's ready for breeding so that's fantastic and I will be doing a, uh, quite a few videos on him um, in the next few weeks um, I'll be doing a molt video to show you all of his molts in the time that I've had him how I cared for him when he lost his limbs and of course a uh, pairing video with my adult female Nandu Crematus. So yeah, I'm really excited that uh, for him, really uh, proud of him that he's pulled through. So uh, yeah, that's I'm really happy with that with with him. Uh, next up, I'm going to show you this in here. If I can open it, <laughs> this is my rhinoceros beetle pupa. Um, it's I'm going to very carefully try and show you it. There it is. For those who don't know what this is, uh, think of this as like a caterpillar. When a caterpillar uh, metamorphoses into a butterfly, they pupate. And that's what he's doing, but obviously he will be a rhinoceros beetle. And he's in this tub, it's just easier for me to monitor him and check on him and, and whatnot. It's all good. Um, in here, my stunning female, uh, she's a got to say a large juvenile um, grammar soda pork ropes let's take the lid off and this tea is so docile it's unbelievable let's take this off carefully and you can just see her down there full adult colours nice big fat abdomen and gorgeous um, I have two females, I'll show you the second one in just a second, um, and both of my females are named after my two nieces, who I love a lot, uh, dearly in fact, in here, look at the web, uh, this is my female, Ceratogris Marshalli, she will, well she's due for a malt actually, so I won't be disturbing her too much, but yeah, she's probably about three and a half, four inches. So, and she's lovely. Right. Oh shit! Sorry. Just uh, yeah, I might do an update on her when she molts. Uh, and here I have. Uh, where have she gone? Oh, I can see you. Try turning it the other way. Okay, let me just take the lid off and hopefully you'll be able to see it. Uh, this is my huntsman. And she is just fantastic. Yeah, she's she's uh, blue in colour. She's getting pretty big now. I'm not going to disturb her too much. And yeah, she's just awesome. 
um, really um, I love watching her grow because she grows really fast and grows so much with each molt it's just mind blowing in here my uh, my burrowing pokey it just molted recently I don't know if you can see the molt up there but yeah for some reason this one just burrows it doesn't do any webbing or anything but that's how it wants to be kept so that's all good and obviously this is my uh, Pocletheria pedicini I've got to mention okay then I've got some brackets here just take the lid off this enclosure start with my favourite bracky my stunning female bracky palm Amelia she's done this little burrow and uh, yeah she's just gorgeous I'm not sure why she likes the plastic I thought she would have liked all of this substrate that's in there but apparently not this is all her architecture so I'll leave her to it but yeah she's just stunning jet black with bright vibrant kind of a ready orange uh, you know markings on her and she's my prized Bracky Palmer. Um, let's put the lid back on her. Okay, uh, some more Brackies. Here's my Bracky Palmer Boemi, who is also, she's gorgeous. Um, and there we go, just wanted to focus the camera. And yeah, she's doing weird architecture. If that's how she wants to be. I'll leave it to it, but uh, yeah, she's getting big again, probably about a, say a four inch uh, leg span, probably a, a malt or so behind my B Amelia. And she's just gorgeous. She's a, a hair kicker. She really enjoys throwing those hairs, but that's about that. This one doesn't ever use a hide, she's always out in the open. So I don't now provide her with one. Uh, my female bracky palmer albiceps. Again, a four inch uh, specimen. Uh, probably gonna start, looks like she's gonna start gonna uh, bold off. And we'll molt in the uh, near future, probably a couple of months. If you can see that spot on her, but uh, Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous spider. In here, my Bracky Palmer Classy, who's actually hiding. Uh, what I'm going to do actually, grab my tweezers, I'm going to just very carefully try and get her out just to, just to show you her. Come on. And again, about a four inch female, full markings, really docile, absolutely stunning. Uh, there's little wide bits on it, just bits of uh, dust and stuff, they're not mites or anything. So yeah, I'll leave her to go back into her little burrow, which I'm sure she will do. Oh, she actually came out. Odd. A little bit uh, humid in there, I'll have to turn the temperature down slightly. Here, uh, I did a video about this but I didn't upload it because I've been really busy. A recently molted Brachypama Kylenbergi. This molted about a week and a half ago. This one's only about an inch and a half, maybe two inches. Guessing it's a male. But I haven't sexed it so very fast. So yeah, probably one of my rarer brackets. Um the carapace is like it's almost like a bracky by my albiceps, but the carapace rather than being gold is more like a reddy gold with a red abdomen and the legs, well is mine, it's like a blacky blue tinge really really beautiful spider you can see obviously I've moved it up into this larger enclosure from the spider shop so uh, it's 
a bit fast. A lot more skittish than my other brackers. <laughs> but yeah, all good. So that's my teas I've got down here. Uh, like I said, any of those, if you would want to do a, a more of an update on them, um, handling video, anything like that, post below and let me know. So over here, uh, Swampa Suramina, the V Sun Tiger, is up there. Um, still no sign of a male for her yet, but she's doing really good, which is all good, of course, that's the main thing. I've uh, got a couple of malts here as well. Um, Pocolotheria pedicenae, see the malt up there. The spider is somewhere down in this mass of tunnels. And this one eats really, really well. Probably one of my better eating pokies. Under the pokey in here, um, it's either at the top under that leaf, which it isn't. So I mean, just down here somewhere. Although I can't actually see it, but it is in there somewhere. <laughs> I do have a couple of other pokers that are actually out. I'll show you in just a second. Here is another malt. This is my um, HMAC. Probably just over an inch, roughly, although I haven't seen it since the malt. And this one resides down here in this, if you can see this little tunnel complex is built that kind of goes all the way around the, uh, around the outside of the enclosure around the outside of the inside, <laughs> if that makes sense, around the perimeter. Um, of course I have my three Cryptodromas Pura Scale. These are all molting now, uh, believe it or not. They are getting bigger. Uh, you can actually see them looking more like a spider now than just like a little uh, white speck. There's another one just there. Probably half to maybe three quarters of a centimetre. So not very big. Um, okay, I can just see the leg, but I don't know if you'll be able to make it out that little white line in that hole. That's the leg of one of them. So yeah. I might do a little rehousing video of these, although that's big enough for them, I'd like to just put them into something a little bit nicer. Maybe like a smaller one of these I've seen, which come uh, about, about that big and slightly more uh, more terrestrial room for them. So they are only small, so they don't need a lot of room, but it'd still be quite nice to put them in something a bit more fancier than these tiny little two inch pill jars things. So yeah. If you'd like an update on them, let me know. Okay, down here my two P Pedicenae. These are my two uh, females, uh, who are definitely females, uh, confirmed. Um, I don't actually know where they are. The one is in here. Excuse me, somewhere in there. Um, if it's, maybe she's came out. Can't see her. And for people who ask me where uh, I got these enclosures from, uh, these are coffin shaped. I got them off a good friend of mine called Alan Hicken. Um, and he got them from Custom Aquaria, I believe. So I will double check with him and put it in the description. Um, and here's another one of my P. Pedicenae uh, females. Again, I don't know where she is. I turn these around. Oh, there she is. This is about a two and a half inch female. No. Oh, you can see her there. So yeah, these two in these two enclosures are 100% females. Six and confirmed, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, I love these. These are gorgeous little spiders at the moment. Look, see, are there any a couple of inches. God, I love the markings on them, that 
awesome like little stripe um, so yeah and this one loves webbing up it's got like a little complex of like tunnels and webs and stuff like that which is always good they uh, enjoy their environment uh, got a heat mat there this is a really hot heat mat so I don't put it right up to it but that just warms up down that side nicely um, this one has got a slightly weaker heat mat it doesn't get as warm um, it's still warm but it's not like hot which is good because I don't want them to and I'll just put it on the wrong side like an idiot <laughs> Um, I don't want my spider, I'd much rather my spiders be slightly cooler than too hot because of all the other heating that I have in my house um, I don't want them to overheat so these heat mats are just at the back and it will keep them just slightly warmer which is good and the one at the back here because this is where the Steve goes see my shelly Cheap pork cripes and my wine beetle, so that kind of heats up all of them at the back. Okay, then well, down here, guys, is my adult female Andy Crematus. She will be getting paired up with the Steve. Um, he molted on Tuesday, today is Sunday, so it will be um, in a few weeks by the time he's given him time to harden up, have a meal, and then do his sperm web. But she's been doing, I don't know if you can see all that silk, but it's all over the inside of the enclosure, all the way down. You're just crazy webber but uh, uh, that's what she wants to do I'll leave her to it <laughs> and see it's all at the back it's crazy more like an OBT webber almost <laughs> uh, down here is another one of my cheap pork ropes this one is called Olivia after my niece I like naming my spiders after people I know Apart from the mouse spiders, which I don't name, my nephew wants me to name a spider after him, but I keep feel I feel a bit bad if I say, oh yeah, he got eaten. <laughs> so obviously I don't really bother with that, uh, with him. Uh, I might name a female spider after him or something like that. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. <laughs> okay then, in here, this is the stud that is Link, the Lassiodora Para High Banner. Uh, he's a, an awesome spider, really big. You can see how big he is in my hand. Um, yeah, he's just awesome. I really do love this spider. Um, and he's been paired up with Zelda twice now. He's done a few sperm webs. Um, and yeah, I will probably put him in this afternoon. I have done a few videos, but as many people uh, already know, my camera, uh, my old camera, was playing up, which is why I'm about to have a, a temporary new one and why I haven't done any videos for a couple of weeks. Uh, like I said, I will do a lot more. But yeah, he's awesome. Absolutely fantastic, really docile. So, man, yeah, he's been breeding with Zelda like a rabbit. A um, couple of insertions, which is always good. And here is my Bee Smithy. Now, um, I do love this spider. She is just fantastic. Um, she really does on everything and I'd say she's probably going to molt fairly soon as well but I might actually be getting getting rid of her um, although I do love my uh, I love my brachys as everyone knows it's my my favorite genus of tarantula the only thing is that I found someone who was after a female and is willing to swap a mature female and a subadult male H. lividum so a breeding pair for an adult female now I paid a lot of money for this spider, uh, a couple of hundred pounds, but um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what's going on with yet, but she's lovely, she's just so docile and just, just beautiful. She hasn't molted for about two and a half years, so she's going into pre molt now, she's not eating, is um, come here. There is a hopper, which she's not interested in. Uh, she's not e not interested in at all. So yeah, let's put you there for just a second. I'm gonna grab.
Yeah, I do um, use roaches normally, but I haven't been taking from them too much. So I'm just going to feed them, get my roach colony back up in numbers. But yeah, I don't know for sure what's going on with her, whether I'm getting rid of her yet or not. I don't really want to as such, but it's a good swap if that makes sense. So I have to wait and see. Of course, I have my widow, who is actually getting quite big now. Uh, so big I can't actually find it. <laughs> um, ah, there it is. And as you can see, that is that black dot in the centre of the screen with that little bit of white reflection on it. See in the centre of the screen there? Yeah. Get it slightly bigger now. Eating well. And then of course down here I have my uh, Bapalosum. About an inch and a half. And down here, I put about uh, just, un just under two inch Brachypama vegans. These were, are going to get moved up very soon into enclosures like these, which will be quite good. Uh, okay, then let's carry on with the uh, with the tour on my other shelves. Okay, then guys, we're carrying on the tour of my uh, spiders. This is going to be a spider only video. Um, this is my Brachypama abopalosum, a mature female. She's in pre-malt and she's looking gorgeous. Uh, I really love this spider. Although she's just like a uh, a brown colour. She's just fantastic. And is really docile, really big. Um, probably one of the largest uh, curly hairs I've seen actually. Normally they slightly smaller and a lot less bulky. But yeah, she's doing really, really well. Which of course is absolutely fantastic. Um, no sign of a pre mold yet. She's, I said she's in pre mold. I don't know if you can see the the bulk spot on her abdomen, but she uh, she's still eating. So up here, my two OBTs. There's one mature male, and the other mature male is in there somewhere. There's a jug in there because I actually paired them up recently, and uh, the jug was the only way to get him it from her enclosure back into his. So okay, uh, over here. My female OBT, which I've just redone the enclosure of. Um, you can see there are a lot of substrate in there and plants and hide, and she's actually up there. No sign of an egg sac yet, but uh, obviously give her time. That's all good. And then, of course, the one and only uh, this is Zelda, my adult female Lassidora Parahai Banner. My favourite spider, who I absolutely love, um, and yeah, she's doing really well. She's been paired up with uh, Link a, a few times now, so uh, three times in fact. So yeah, I'm fingers crossed for a sack. Or breeding always goes really, really well. No sign of aggression. So, so you yeah, guys, uh, this is basically a tour of my just my spiders. I will be doing another tour in a minute of my other inverts. And my room is just like an absolute tip. I've been playing GTA, uh, but my Xbox has died. Not very good. <laughs> but yeah, they're all good. Uh, I've got to do an update on this spider here now, as well as some other news I need to share with you guys. So if you would like to uh, check out my other videos I want to get up today, it would be greatly appreciated. Please leave some feedback. Let me know what you think. Uh, and yeah, like I said, any of the animals you'd like to see a handling video of or um, an update video, feeding video, and that. Uh, let me know, and I will get it sorted for you guys. So as always, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please like, leave a comment, subscribe if you aren't already. And as always, guys, take care.